Hi, I'm going to show you how to install and set up Backtrack 4 Beta. To do this, you will need to download VMware and either the Backtrack 4 DVD image or the Backtrack 4 VMware file. Okay, so first let's download VMware. Let's open up an internet browser and let's type in VMware.com and let's select VMware Workstation and let's select Download Trial. Okay, all you have to do is fill out this registration, hit continue, and then download the file. You'll be given a, I believe, a 30-day trial. So just send me a private message, and I'll help you register the product. Okay, so now let's download Backtrack 4 Beta. So let's go to remote-exploit.org. And let's select free projects. Then select backtrack. And let's hit download. Okay. So you can either download the DVD image, which is about 900 megabytes, or you can download the VMware image, which is about 1 gig. The difference is the DVD image, after every reboot, will get wiped. So if you save any data, you won't have it anymore. But with the VMware image, everything will get saved just like a regular hard drive. Okay, so you can download either or and I'll show how to use both of them. Okay, now that they're both downloaded, you should either see a file that uh, looks like this, BT Backtrack 4 Beta or Backtrack 4 Beta ISO. Okay, so let me first show how to do it when you downloaded an ISO image. Okay, so once you install VMware, it should look like this. Okay, now if you're using the ISO image, let's select File, New, Virtual Machine. Next, we're going to use I will install the operating system later. Hit Next. Then select Linux. And we're going to go to Other Linux 2.6x kernel. And I'll select Next. And we'll name this one Back. Track 4 Beta ISO image. Okay. And hit next. And we're here to give it how much memory it's able to use. I'll leave it at 8 gig. And I'll hit next. I'll uncheck this power on virtual machine after creation. And I'll hit finish. Okay. So now I have a blank virtual machine. So now I gotta add the ISO image. So first I'm gonna go to Edit Virtual Machine Settings. Well first let's remove the floppy, since you're not gonna do that. Okay, then I will go to CD DVD, use ISO image file, hit browse, and you're basically gonna browse to where the file is located. For me it's on the desktop, BT4 beta ISO. I'll hit open. Okay, for network adapters, I'm gonna select bridge. And memory, I guess I'll put it at 512. Okay. Now it is ready to start up. But first, I want to make sure that the network adapters are working. So to do that, you want to go to Edit, Virtual Network Editor, Host Virtual Network Mapping, and you want to select on the first one the card or the network card or your Ethernet adapter that you're going to be using on your host machine. For me, I'm using an Intel Wi-Fi 4965, and basically, it'll allow me to use the internet from my computer into the virtual machine. Okay. So once that's selected, I'm going to hit apply. Okay. And now the machine is ready to be turned on. So I'll just hit the play button. Okay. By BT login, you want to type in root, R-O-O-T, password tor, T-O-O-R. Okay. Now, when turning on the virtual machine, it's different than the original Backtrack 3 or 2, 
the network cards don't automatically turn on. So if you want to turn on the network cards, you can either do it now, or you could do it later on. So I'll show first how to do it now. Well, it says over here, to start networking, you just type in this. Forward slash etc. So first we're going to do that. Forward slash etc. Forward slash init. Dot d. Forward slash networking. And then start. Okay, then I type in start x. And that will load up the GUI. Okay. So here is Backtrack 4. Finish him. Okay. Well, as you can see over here, Ethernet is bridged. Okay. So technically I'm not really connected to the Internet. But because it's a bridged connection and I'm using my Wi-Fi card for my host computer, as you see I'm connected to the Internet, it will allow me to use the Internet here. And I can just go to google.com. And as you can see, I have internet access. Okay. Um, VMware only allows USB Wi-Fi cards. So if you're trying to do network cracking, you're not going to be able to use your built-in Wi-Fi card. So, for example, let's say you would have a USB network card. Like, I'm going to plug in mine right now. It will show it right here, in the bottom here. It will show all the USB connected. So here's my Netgear WG-111V2. Well, it's not connected to the virtual machine. It's only connected to the host machine. To swap in middle, you're going to have to click it and click Connect. And then it will swap from your host machine to your virtual machine. And you see it bright blue, you know it's connected fully. Okay, now it's connected. Now if I would type in Airmon, it will pop up. And here we go. Okay. So this is using Backtrack 4 beta with the ISO image. Now, let's use the VMware image. Okay, so if you want to use the BT4 beta VMware image, you're first going to have to download something to unpack it. So let's go to download.com and type in WinRAR. And just download over here, WinRAR 3.8, hit download. Once it's downloaded and installed, you're going to have to right-click the WinRAR file and click extract okay once it's extracted you should get a file that looks like this bt4 beta it should have a whole bunch of stuff in it okay well to turn this mach virtual machine on it's a lot more simple all you have to do is hit file open and select where the file is bt4 beta and you're gonna hit bt4 beta dot vmx and hit open Okay, and everything already comes pre-installed over here. Can change this to bridge, and then just hit power on. Okay, and you just want to hit enter over here. Okay, I'm going to type in root, tor, okay, now I'm just going to show you Stardex, I'm going to show you how to turn it on, the networking, once it's already booted into the GUI. Okay, now we're already booted into GUI, now let's turn on the networking. Okay, so to turn on networking, let's open up a shell, and we're going to type in ifconfig, 
f0 of dh client f0. That will perform the same steps which we saw with the backtrack for ISO. Okay, and now just try pinging Google. And if it pings, yes it is, and it's working. Okay, that's it. See ya.